Welcome to the Invasion Session 3. I am Ryan, the GM. It is the 29th of April 2020, and here are the players. Hi there, my name's Gregor. I'm going to be playing Adair, an Air Genasi, who's a bit of a rogue. Hey, I'm Scott. I'm playing Alvin, who is a gnome artificer. <laughs> who's getting a phone call? Let's move Hi. on. I am Calm M. I am playing Cognac, the unwitting barbarian. Good evening. I'm Alexander, and I'll be playing Fleabite, the Skaven, who's only slightly less terrible at everything. You? He's a surprisingly no, foxy. I got none of this. Monster. None of that came through, buddy. I've missed all the what? stuff. Fix it. Start again. Close all of that shit down and give it again. Was it like laggy or is it just not nope, coming through? Nope, just start again. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ewan. Um, I've been playing Layuda. He's a surprisingly foxy Loxodon Druid. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> I'm Callum. And I'll be playing Thea, the Priestess of Chaos! Let me cycle all the way back up to Scott. Is Scott, are you going to be back with us or are you still busy, buddy? No, no, I'm still here. I'm just eating. That's why I'm eating. Well, I want your intro now, buddy. I gave my intro. I want your intro now, buddy. Mm. No. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing Alvin, who is a artificer gnome. Perfect. There we go. Hey. <laughs> like, completely seamless. I like it. Completely seamless intro. I can't. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. He gives his name over. I want him to say he's a chimp monk, but that's just <laughs> a huge thing. <laughs> yeah, it's sadly not just an age thing now with that horrible <laughs> remake. But anyway, so... But what? No, no, Right, no. goals. So, let's have a chat about goals. Uh, currently, Adair, what's your goal? So, at the moment, I'm still trying to discover my previous goal. Why on earth did a rock monster attack a Genasi when it was from an ancient Genasi area? I'm still convinced it shouldn't have done that, so I am still wanting to try and research some stuff, okay. if I can. Cool. Happy with that. I'm happy with that. Can we also, as a group, make a decision? Are we going to track every goal that was ever done, or are we just going to delete them so it's cleaner? What's the... Delete them. Yeah. If, if you can't do it, then you can't do it. Cool. So the fact that we've got ones that are claimed, we're just going to delete as well? Yeah, because I've already accounted for them. Yeah. Should we... we can have an empty bin. Yeah, um, they go out of sight, but are still there for people who want to see them. So, like, see, just underneath the goals, so like the bottom bit, just put completed their abandoned ones there. So, something akin to let me just mm -hmm. dump this in, and then no longer relevant goals. I mean, I'd like to think I may find an answer in the past year that has passed to this. So I might be ready to delete this goal or not. I mean, uh, not by the nature haven't... of goals. You don't just get to autocomplete goals that mm -hmm. way. So you yeah, still no, need um, to actively do stuff for that. Well, it's in my... We'll get to that in yeah. the, the last delete year. That. Yeah. Delete that. Delete that. There we go. That would, that would look good. Oh no, we're going to just delete all of the stuff from this one and then move everything down that was needed. Right. I think that I may have fucked something up there because I dragged the thing down and then you overwrote it and now I can't undo it. So I guess I'm just going to write it out again. Yeah. Cool. Everybody, deal with goals. Tell me what your goals are. Right, so we've got one from Adair. Alvin, you've. Um... What are we doing for you? I kind of always want to see how this session goes and see if I can think of a decent goal. For yeah, the first you can leave it blank for now, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, and then basically what I'll do is try and then when we take, after we take a break, so for the second half, I'll think of a decent goal for that. Well, it'll be the end of the session. You'll have a, a goal in mind when we review goals again, so yeah. Oh, right, or even better. Yeah, I'm not doing goals halfway through a session. Right. <laughs> uh, the mid goals. Yes. Cognac, we seem to have two in yours. What's happening? Um, the main one would be the bottom one. Right, okay. 
think the second one was a leftover from last session. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think I want to keep it, given a year has passed. Yeah. And I'd probably reevaluate it. So I'll remove it. Okay. Keep the bottom one. And I have a few in mind, but I want to leave them to the end of the session. See how it mm. goes. Cool. So my goal is to prove to the team I am able to tank well. Good, good. Flea bite. Um, so I was having a think about this. Could I put um, that I actually want to get a, a decent hit on? Like, I've been doing a lot of things to actually try and get like an advantage hit, but none of them have ever actually really meant anything. Can, I, can that be a goal? I mean, it needs to be narratively right, so come, like, think about that. Your flea bite doesn't know what number he rolls. Yeah, obviously. Right, yeah, so, so, yeah. How would, how would flea bite know that goal's done, right? Well, like, he, being in an unfair fight, that's one of his, um, like, one of the So, is the goal you want to win an unfair fight? Yes, it is. Okay, just cool. Hit a decisive blow. So, that, that, no, I think that's it, like, we just, like, you, is that what you want it to be? Is it win an unfair fight, or is it something else? What's the thoughts? While you're thinking about that, Lauda, what have you got? So Lauda's new goal is to find out the identity of who it was that actually saved us from the initial invasion, because he's convinced that it wasn't the dude that was floating in the crater. Right, okay. Cool. Uh, Thea. Uh, I'm going to give it to the end of the session, I think. Think anything that she like wanted to like sort of achieve over the course of the year would have just been done during the year, okay. um, as opposed to like a ongoing thing. So see where where the the state of invasions have taken us. Okay, okay. Right, goals were quick then, unless there's anything else to deal with. And you can obviously keep track of your other goals below. Um. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's maybe put more space between the, the no longer relevant goals and the, the relevant ones, shall we? So somebody can move the no longer relevant ones further down the sheet. Um, I would do that one. No. Perfect. Um, bonds! Adair, do you want to run me through your bonds, what you've got so far? Here with me. Uh, so, bonds-wise, uh, with Lida, I still have the same bond as I love to Just use start from the top. As I'm just, just going to go through the top oh. with everybody. Yep. Just go down the oh, line. Fair enough. Uh, so, with Alvin, uh, always happy to help with his ideas as they the party. Um, and I'm more than happy to fuel his um, idea process. Mm -hmm. like, yep. Cool. Yeah. I like it. Uh, with Cognac. Mm -hmm. I'm always not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Cognac, yep, that's, it's Cognac. not, yep, Cognac's the one, yep. Yeah. It's spelled so, incorrectly on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> See, that just warps my brain, because I'm trying to read it while saying yeah. it. <laughs> He's an uneducated soul, but he likes Cognac. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, please, today. So, with Cognac, um, we train over the past year we train together in battle because we're kind of front forwarding guys so we're training together to know each other so as we can work well together in battle mm -hmm. so you know how people go to the gym and spot each other we do that but with you know fighting techniques so as we know when i want to do something he knows based on my body language what i'm intending to do kind mm -hmm. of i got you bro yeah Good. buddy right next And well, my last one mm -hmm. is still with Lyda, who um, I love to use Lyda as a distraction because let's face it, not everyone has interacted with a giant elephant. So it works brilliant for me. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. The entire party are valid targets for that, quite frankly, based on how rare everybody is. But yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you very much, Adair. Alvin. Uh, so going over bonds, first one uh, I have currently is with Adair. So over the past year, he's kind of uh, spurred on my creativity, which and through so his faith in my inventions has kind of given me 
like a, like my a confidence boost because my inventions do have a tendency to blow up and not work or be, you know blow up because that's what they were designed to do yeah yeah i mean they blow up because that's what they're designed to do but people see that as a design flaw apparently um with cognac uh over the past kind of year i've been working on um defenses for the city um which resulted in me designing a eldritch cannon um because i am a tiny little thing i have been unable to you know gather the raw materials so cognac has kindly helped me out by being the muscle and uh, yeah basically i'm now wishing to repay him in some way i think as well uh, it probably doesn't help that you've been like your name isn't well received in the city yeah, so uh, i don't know how much you want me to argue that door to now door or... pallets. <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't know how much you want you me to RP into I that. Don't, I don't. I just want you to read. Yep. <laughs> All right. Move on. <laughs> that, that's a big task. And flea bites still going to be the same. So uh, I've been a lot really distracted over this past year. So I've not had a lot of chance to talk to him about this. But because he's from an unknown realm, uh, I'm fascinated by the chance to learn of a new world to explore. And number five is Thea's. So. Seeing Thea as a source of uh, knowledge on a new subject, I've been asking her to teach me about chaos, mm -hmm. if that's possible. <laughs> I mean, Thea's more than happy, I imagine, to talk to yeah. you about her religion, so yeah. No, oh, she excels at talking about her religion. Uh, Cognac. Cognac feels that Alvin's fanatical inventing is kind of scary. But through helping him, he has grown fond of him. He feels still that Rebite can't protect himself completely, and he respects Layuda for helping him over this past year with his alcoholism. Nice. Fleabite. Um, so I feel with Alvin that because he keeps you know grilling me about where I come from that probably wants to steal something from me. Um, with Cognac, that he's just like a big safe turtle man that uh, whenever I'm in trouble I can hide behind, behind him and keep me safe. Daddy Cognac, I think, is what I'm seeing the, the game become. <laughs> yep. Death, <no. laughs> um, with Lauda, that, oh yeah, we were um, during the, the year we did lots of um, scouting out because and helped me uh, develop some of my skills at sneakiness and subterfuge. Thanks. Nice. Louder. So yeah, um, with Cognac, I have been helping him to overcome his alcoholism. Um, Fleabite, we've, over the past year, um, been scouting. Uh, I've been using my newly found wild shape um, to gather information about the about the invasion, and to see if there's any way we can help defend ourselves in the city. And with Thea, uh, I helped tone down Thea's chaos um, for more suitable so social interactions. Interesting theory. Um, <laughs> Thea. I can't <can't> Yeah. <laughs> um, Alvin's uh, his dangerous, chaotic tendencies are fascinating. And he has potential to become the perfect disciple of chaos. And in Athena's mind, that's probably going quite well. <laughs> and only the only other one is uh, Lauda keeps unraveling everything I do. Sometimes understandably, but usually it's to the extreme. It's almost, almost just you know messing up the the chaos of my wake. You know, it's very annoying. Bringing order into your chaos, and you don't want. Yeah, I hate it. I mean, Thea hates it, Callum. I'm, I'm indifferent, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Where so, does Thea begin and Callum end? I know not. So, uh, Wednesday at seven and Wednesday at eleven. Yeah. Um, You'd like to think so. So yeah, that's our bonds. Good. I obviously, if any more NPCs come up, we've got an NPC list now. Just the next tab over. I'll fill it out 
if I introduce people, I expect you guys to do the same if people from your past come up, such as the parents of um, Cognac. Cognac. Maybe should be like dumped in there as well. You can put them in as like a, a combo NPC since they're like a package deal, if you wish. Um, <laughs> I think I'd probably mention the head as the single person, and then perhaps just name drop the family name. Mm -hmm. but that's fine. Um, yeah. I'll try to come up with that through the session. Yeah, no worries. And yeah, the only thing I've really added of note to that because Antonia Starling's just from Alvin's background, but uh, Vistel Hamalicia is mm -hmm. the head city councillor, right? She's in charge of the little Belenor's city council. There are obviously members on the council. It is generally a democracy, but she's the person you spoke to last time. Yeah, I was going to say, is that person we actually yeah. did a one-to-one yeah. -one with? So, Councillor Hamalicia. Now, as a councillor in this world, is she the one who also leads the local... I don't want to say army, I want to say... I'm not actually sure the... They would be the ones in charge of dispatching people for Little Belinor. yes. Would it be a guard, an army, a guard, an army? Is it one sort of thing for all of it? Is there different sections? So, the elves the rule the elves. Uh, all the other races rule themselves, like how the city of Torque is ruled by like the king of Torque, right? Um, mm -hmm. Like, you know, there is no... Like, I guess... Little Belenor so is as close to like the UN as you're likely to get, but it's considered its is own... Is there a UN army? It's considered its own city. Well, there's no UN, right? As I said, there is mm. no kind of combination forces. There are the individual races and where they focus their strengths and protect each other. And so little, even though they're on their council together, and it's going to be a little Belenor, And Little Belenor is the attempt at races working together. Mm -hmm. So there's no city unified guard? No, but Little Belenor has a guard to protect themselves and they've obviously had a year of, oh god, we need to be better than we were. But they're not, mm -hmm. they're not an army to go out and stop stuff. There are protectors of the city. So mm -hmm. they've maybe had to like recruit more people. I, as I said in the blurb of the little invasion info document that I put up, that mm -hmm. obviously lots of refugees have been taken in mm -hmm. over the last year because villages can't protect themselves mm -hmm. from the invading raids that happen. So, so would, yeah. I mean, I'm going to ask, would these local refugees be... How do I put this nicely? Asked to volunteer for the guard? Some might have. They weren't forced get, to, though. Get drafted, is what you mean? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it depends how dire the situation is. Um, Indeed. So, the, but keep in the mind, they're not is, they're not losing people to like send. They're not sending people out to be lost. So mm -hmm. that's a well, that's that difference. Happened yet? Well, just in the year of all the attacks, I think they said, cool, come to us, we'll protect you. Not, we'll come get you, or we'll come attack the people in your villages. Everybody's kind of on mm -hmm. their own. Hence why, oh, like, okay, the yeah. kind of fortified civilization is, like, the cities that crop up. And, you know, mm -hmm. in the future of this world, Sticker, maybe they become the countries, you know? So, But the, the governing council, even though there is a guard, there's no army for no. this. Little Belnor has Belnor. no army. Yeah. So we need to try and work on everyone getting together and yeah. maybe reach out to some of the other communities to see if they can send forces. The council Which, of like, Vestel has them. kept tabs on you guys um, mm -hmm. because you seemed to be the first people to have really encountered this um, incursion, mm -hmm. as it were. So well, I'd like to believe in the year that I've been in contact with them regularly, trying to make sure I'm a, in the position to help them. <laughs> Uh, well, the way they look at it is, use our resources to use at their disposal. So, <laughs> that's how wow. they see that. Um, because, yes. Better than a resource. <laughs> I mean, that could be a goal. I wish to prove myself to be better <laughs> than a resource. Um, oh, I know I am. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, obviously, the, the council exists in their entirety, but I haven't named any of them yet, or they don't even have races or anything yet. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, we've got the head, because she's the one you spoke to. All those people mm -hmm. in the background have yet to be cast, so, you know. Because we haven't had our one-to-ones. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, Councillor Hamalisha is, like, as I said in the document as well, like, uh, it's the, the NPC list, sorry. She's a, actually one of the founding high elves uh, for 
little Belinor. So mm-hmm. her clout with her kind is the reason little Belinor exists. Um, she was very pro everybody trying to work together, quite frankly. So, I mean, if you want, like, you know, was it if you want to give peace a chance, you probably want to <laughs> keep on her side and maybe help her agenda. Um, if you wish things like a unified army and all that nonsense. Um, but it's definitely stuff you can nonsense. work on. Uh, who needs We're that? Going up against monsters, we need anything we can get. Yeah. Um, I don't want to die. I want to send some randoms in and die. <laughs> I want to shoot things with a cannon! So, yes, the year happened, oh, as I said. Um, lots of attacks across the world um, with these things, these invaders. The infighting, again, like the invaders also seem to be fighting themselves as much as other people, but they seem to like raid small places, take the resources, build up again, raid bigger, you know, like towns and such, and then they start to seem to fortify the towns they've got. So, kind of, kind of snowballing. Yeah, and then they seem to, when they find somewhere defensible enough, they seem to stay and send parties out to raid from there is what, like, all your scouting efforts have managed to, like, pull in. The problem is, though, because the because the wilds are now so much more dangerous than they used to be, the, like, information isn't passed around as easily, unfortunately, unless you've got some damn good wizards, right? The councils of Little Belnor have obviously been overworking all of their well-to-do academics because they need people to be working on any form of like defense or better medicine or you know ways to create food and literally everything to keep them surviving behind the Bellinor like the little Bellinor walls right so mm-hmm. yeah it is a they're not going to be much help to you guys because they're all tasked doing keep the city running as independently as possible um, without going into complete anarchy correct because mm-hmm. like the council want to protect as many local people as they possibly can out with the city because they don't just want to be like, well, yeah, we could have just shut all the doors and been fine, but we don't want to do that. We want to keep people alive. So, so I'm sure a lot of resources come from outside. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Sorry, what was the two? Are we the Avengers? I mean, you are all the random, unique people, right? So I think you have made yourselves yeah. the Avengers. I've um, been invaded, invaded by weird... The not yeah. yeah, yeah, whatever they're called. Yeah, we're the revenge. Right, so whose brother is behind all of this? Right, <laughs> don't care that he's adopted. Cognac. Yeah, cognac. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're saying cognac. That character, aren't I? Coming from Wakanda. I mean, we can wear that anyway, right? Let's face it. So, <laughs> I think Elephant Wakanda was the first. Oh, I, I, I find that. a YouTube video titled. Uh, Disastrous campaign in furry Wakanda. And I need oh to like send that. Oh my god. Oh dear. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Ryan, a it's lot me. of the city's resources, are they actually coming from outside the walls? I, much like other places, a lot of the villages surrounding mm-hmm. would have fed the city. Right? Right. So like, that's why they're not just locking up the door. Well, the problem I, I is that know. the city would have had lots of money because it's loads of rich people that live there, right? But mm-hmm. then they send their servants out to go into markets and get nice things in, but those yes. nice things come from local farms. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Economy 101 yeah. everything. As long as I know the, yeah, as long as I know the sort of... It does mean that yeah. any spaces like public parks and stuff um, have probably been like repurposed for growing, right? Um, very little in the way of um, empty space is really left in a Little Belinor because of this reason. A lot of it's like makeshift housing as well. Lots of the universities that are in here um, have become dorms, full stop, right? Because mm-hmm. there's not much in the way of teaching anymore because all the people of a teaching standard are now repurposed for the war effort. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah. This is, is a bit... It's it's the coast. Yes, it is. It's it's also, a lot of... Sorry, it's, oh, it sorry. is more like a think tank now for the war effort, right? Mm. It's kind of what it is. Also, yes, I'll move you to the world map. Since you Is asked there that a question. lot of fighting between the very wealthy and the uh, poor? The what within what the Little Belner? Uh-huh. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Nope. Because nope. normally the wealthy uh-huh. want to hold on to what they have. 
They wouldn't yeah, want but to give up their big garden. Uh, the thing is, though, like that's not public space. Their private garden, right? Yeah, that's like old time. I, it doesn't matter. The city only existed because of like the independence of individuals coming together. It's the public spaces that have been repurposed. Okay. Are cool. yep. the invaders able to live underwater? Or <laughs> turtles safe? Uh, <laughs> you have no information about the invaders dealing with water. Okay. Yep. Have we captured any of the invaders over the past year? No, despite the attempts made. We haven't. Nope, not in a year. Have we ever made any sort of diplomatic contact? Nope, because anything that was sent never returned. Okay. Has it always been a case messenger. of um, the, 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 the invaders have sort of been kind of dominating the, the sort of wars that have been like a real sort of like two and <laughs> wars? Yeah, there isn't really a war. Nobody has engaged them in okay. fighting. No, no, they have, no they have tried to like defend, like really, for example, like the surrounding area of Tork, right? Like they've tried to defend that, but then Tork has an army, right? And they just decided to like again, like Little Belinor, pull everything inside and defend their own country, and said, "Cool, we'll wait this out behind our massive castle walls because we're a you know yeah. a proper medieval type city." We're not built for what? teaching, we're built for surviving. Ryan. That's me. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, how much of the land have the invaders taken? Like, so you have no idea. Draw... To, like, nope, you have no idea. Right, okay, no worries. Because um, I was going to say, like, if we if we know that, can we like draw it out on the map? But nope. Nope, that's fine. Nope. And uh, again, Ryan, it's, hard to, ask? it's hard to kind of get a grasp on the coverage of the invasion like is it just between Torque and little Belinor? does it reach barris does it go all the way to Belinor? right mm -hmm. like right okay all right because there could be multiple portals or whatever you know they did tell you there were multiple portals that they weren't specific as to where but it does seem to have been localized around for obviously the information that you guys have been given in last yeah, year so, so, it's yeah, been local so, to little Belinor. yeah so what i was meaning is like how many and where about and how far spread apart and all that but yeah yeah too many to really have any bearing on your mm. your kind of strategy there what was it um a dear the raider uh parties that are sent out from their strongholds do do we have in, information in regards to the size of these parties like are you talking 50 invaders are you talking two uh, they vary so it depends vary. like there are no accurate account like of um, the, f the forces that are in play but people that have managed to survive encounters by like fleeing um, mm -hmm. report like it's usually they don't see more than say 50 because the invaders have snuck up on their uh, people and murdered them all right so mm -hmm. it seems almost guerrilla tactics that they're using um, as opposed to more than 5 still though <laughs> so yeah like it's more likely that um, five of the invaders are getting more done than like a hundred of them marching down a field, right? Mm -hmm. But, as I said, it's also that the invaders seem to be fighting each other as well. So, perhaps they're saving their forces to like fight. Maybe they see uh -huh. the, themselves as they're the threat. They're building their defences first. Yeah. They're getting their stronghold, their uh, yeah. pipeline for forces, yeah. They're getting ready to annihilate us. <laughs> it did seem though, right? So here's the thing as well. The portal stopped after the first month. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. So How do we know that? Because all those magical detection devices everybody had for plot reasons. <laughs> right, cool. Yeah, because let's face it, as soon as you start detecting... Oh, well, how did the council know about them, right? So mm -hmm. they obviously then made sure that more magical defect the detection devices were made. And yeah, they stopped. Or the invaders learned how to mask it. Just so they could have all, all their forces. Mm. Yeah, two options, right? You can't detect them anymore, or everybody's here. Mm -hmm. And then if everybody remembers correctly, the... So 
in yep. the past year, what's actually happened with capturing an enemy soldier? That was answered. Like, but have they all like? Has it just been they've not been able to, or yeah, the person killed themselves, or yeah, but you don't know. Nobody came back from those attempts. Oh, no one came back at all. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, nope. It was okay. never successful. Yep. Yeah. We've right. Done got, we've done got Jackson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the party. Use have. Us. Yep. Use are summoned before the council. Okay. And this is a keep in mind what happened at the end of the last session. So it was like a year of the invasion, and then above Little Belinor, a big portal ripped open above the city. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And through it, big kind of tentacles pulled through a big skyship, and seems to have been like a kind of permanent like thunderstorm around the ship in the sky. That's been there for about a week, and you are summoned before the council. Um, so. Who goes? Oh, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'll go, because I'll be like, yes, maybe, the, like, um, how did we get summoned actually? What do you mean? How did you get summoned? It wasn't like you were pulled through reality. There was no, I mean, like, like did a they messenger. Send them? Yeah, yeah, like I like this idea that the messenger would come, like, come up and be like, like, yes, uh, the council has summoned you for a meeting. I'm like, ah, yep, finally they've realised my brilliance. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little legs running. Mm -hmm. running would go. <laughs> Flea bite. So, yeah, probably just like staying behind Cognac, making sure that people aren't looking at me and keeping my like as much of me covered as possible. Are you in your mage armor? Yes. How does that look? Um, like. Like a hooded, um, yeah, like like a big, like a big oh god, wide flag. Such audio. Uh, I think we just lost them. Oh, uh, we still got them. Hello. 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 Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So just like uh, noises, That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um. This is why I pushed talk. Uh. Just like. Uh, like a monk's um, oversized black robe. Okay, like a kind of gi, I guess, I think's the term for it, right? I am a monk's gi. G-I. Um, right, and louder. Yeah, I'll be there. Good, good. <laughs> Thea? I think at first Thea would be like, you don't just summon the priestess of chaos. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I think um, after some, you know, once he realizes everyone's gone and it's super quiet, you know, like, oh well, I guess I'm going. And you like, you just have you maybe like running out of the warehouse at the docks, like following up the the ramps to get into the the main city. Um, yeah. There's been a lot of ships, obviously, like with what they can in ways of defense, trying like repurpose some of the merchant ships and stuff as like you know, defensible for the port of Little Belinor, um, because yeah, it's obviously a massive weak spot to the city, right? Have have the enemy tried to do anything to the ships? No, as I said, no information about them on water at all. No, like, not even some of them swim. Mm. Nor near a puddle. Strange. So they might not like water. Oh god, is this signs? <laughs> it's contaminated. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So yeah, there's like, yeah, no sign of them like raiding boats or being Set on the sea the or you know. Okay, that's good to know. That's actually quite. Important. It's brilliant because obviously you are you literally told me you put your warehouse at the docks. So yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you are technically the front line defense really of Little Belinor. <laughs> it's the weakest spot. Feels awfully convenient, well. right? It's almost like someone planned this. <laughs> mm. 
Yes. Release the Kraken! But yes, so every day heads to the council, right? So you just wander through the city, and the city is probably quite a sorrow site, right? It's probably quite a like a malaise as a mood for the city. There's probably a lot of um, it's no longer as pleasant or as like bright as it might used to have been. There's the overcast from the big thunderstorm above um, that seems to like mm. have been solid for a week. Um, there's this big weird unknown ship in the sky high above the city, um, obviously causing a lot of distress. Uh, mm -hmm. And yes, these are summoned to the council. Um, so, if everyone's upon agreement, we will enter the council chambers, or do we need to Well, wait? before that, is there any conversation on the way to the chambers, going through the city? To Thea and say, behave. Hmm? What was Just that? Just tell Thea to behave. <laughs> Well, when she catches up. Yeah. Yeah, no, she can have caught up by now. She wasn't that far behind. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, I believe we're all upon agreement that we need to know what the hell this ship above us is. Because uh, there's tentacly stuff. I'm assuming that's why. Big and scary! <laughs> Thank you, Alvin. You're a knowledge of wisdom, as always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, yeah. What are we going to ask the council before they ask us anything? Or do we just listen to what they have to say? I just butt in and just, like I just kind of speak up and go. Well, clearly, they're now after my cannons that I made. I did test them. Look down on us. I did test them. They worked fine for me. Not my fault they couldn't get them to work. Are you sure about that? That's you know, definitely Alvin. it. Those two interns we got you to work on that cannon, what happened to those guys? I've not seen them for a while. <clears throat> um, I think they are chuckles. <laughs> like, I don't know. They, they, they went away. Yeah, yes, yes. Interns were cooked. Lovely. Taste, taste. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just see a deer oh, put his hand on his sort of forehead, just like, See, I like the idea that all this is just everyday winding Alvin up, because Alvin clearly would never have noticed if he had interns working for him. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyday tease um, the really, really dangerous gnome. Yep. <laughs> yes. could, we can see he hasn't dropped in at his bag, so we're all right. For now. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think he brought his bag. Oh, I, I brought the bag. No, I don't think he did. <laughs> okay. You would not be allowed in the council chambers with your bag. Yeah, let's move it to little Bellinor's image. So I guess I don't have a cannon with me. <laughs> oh, nice. So yeah, they're heading up to... Is that Dol Lambro? I, I have no idea. It's art. It looks like... <laughs> it looks what are you talking about? That's the little Bellinor. Yeah. Come on, guys. Little Bellinor. <laughs> I've only been here for like over a year. <laughs> and then some, yeah. Little bill for you. Go after floating ship. To be fair, I've lived in the same town for twenty-eight years, and I couldn't tell you the name of the street. So for me, yeah, that's a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so um, yes, as you head through the, like as I said, the kind of winding cities and whatnot, have you decided what like like your reply to Adair is? Are you do you have questions for the council, or do you just want to see what they say? What's everybody else's responses? Uh, yeah. We know more than that. yeah, I want to see what their response is. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing just now, Ewan, but like your audio is way worse than it was like before we started <sighs> the game. So. Me? No, you're not Ewan. No. But that probably oh, does prove my point twice more. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> but yeah, so do you want to try that again, Ewan? And see if we can get everybody to respond to louder. Um, I think that it would be that Elijah would want to know if we know more than them or if they know more than us. Mm. Mm. So play it by ear. Yeah, yeah this uh, is, I know all. I definitely want to know what their current way of dealing with this is. What, what are they planning to do? And how do they plan to act? So, 
Are you on push to talk or something now, Ewan? What what is all these clicking and things? What's happening? I'm not really sure. <laughs> so you don't you don't know what the clicking is? No. Okay. Right. I thought I was the bad one with tech. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing well as a group, aren't we? <laughs> Apparently, if I mute myself, it doesn't mute. <laughs> Excellent technology at its finest. <laughs> the curse has been passed on. Yep, apparently so. <laughs> well played, Fleabite. <laughs> the ritual is complete. It, it goes down the Discord list. It seems to just I think it's on the wrong device. Next. I think I might change my, my name to Athea. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, so yeah, if there's no other conversation to be had then on the way, then... Well, Ryan, in the past year, how much contact have I actually kept up with the council? Because I would have liked to have kept up as much as possible so that I would be on first name basis with most of them, if that were possible. Well, I mean, all their names or are they... listed in the Hall of Records and all that nonsense, right? For public access and all that nonsense and mm -hmm. anything that's But in the past year, would I have been able to keep contact or would they have just shunned me until now? Uh, they've been very busy really this busy. past year, you yeah. can imagine. However, if they have had um, need of you, for example, with like Lyoda and the flea bite and stuff, willing to go out on scouting missions, like they would mm. have their official word would have been used are not members of the council or, or indeed employed by the council. But if you have any relevant information, we'll make sure you are rewarded for it. Um, well, as friends of two of their favourite scouts, I would have liked to have been the middleman between the group. Yeah, like easily. It's um, it's not even so much that. I just mean that's the idea behind the relationship mm -hmm. you have with the council. You officially have no standing with them, right? Other than citizens mm -hmm. of Little Bellinor. Um, but you were first to be exposed to the invaders. Gamma rays. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, is this our first sort of interaction of them since we've done like scouting missions and things? This is the first so... time they've summoned all of you. Probably. Yeah, so we haven't given them any information yet. Or... No, you would have like back and forth through the year. You, as I said, you, they've kept in touch with you, but like it's not been a okay, cool. Can it's the Avengers a, come to the, to the pub together? Yeah, yeah. Could yeah. we have requested any payment for the information at all? I mean, that's how you survived the year with you know no money. Yeah. yeah, that's how you are at this point now. Okay. See, see how nice that is. It's really neat. Um, mm -hmm. uh, that works. As hey. long as we have a, we know where we stand with the council. Yeah, they see you as a bunch of useful people when mm -hmm. you're not responsible for the death of 40 students which you are and didn't tell them about we it. are in yeah. the, the you told them you actually didn't you kind of told them it was the invaders oh the the invaders yep yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how i remember it it was all the invaders yep so yeah um anything else to come up before you get into the chambers No. Uh, when we get to the chambers, who's taking point? Not Cognac. Do this in character. I would prefer all this discussion as discussion on the way. I like the fact that Ethan did do that in third person. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the front. Make a good first impression. Yeah. <laughs> the I peaceful mean, druid. Like, yeah, okay. I don't want to come mm. off as too smug. Yeah, um, also, you, I mean, Lyda taking... Lyda, you take the lead. The, most people know that your people are gentle and nice and all that kind of... My stuff. people are dicks. Well, <laughs> the, the rest of them are, but they know you. You're nice. Mm. So you do the talking, and if they get too annoying, just do that thing with your trunk, and that's cool. <laughs> yeah, do the windmill. <laughs> <laughs> Has Kotak ever seen a windmill? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Underwater windmills? Hell yeah. Hydro mills. <laughs> oh, yes. His I whip so my trunk back, back and forth. They have to be advanced because they live so short lives, you know? Poor turtles. So, it is agreed. Lida, you take point in the discussion with the council. The rest of us shall be there. But we have your back, buddy. We have your back. I nod. 
Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I, like made, I like how Gregor's made it out as if we're going into fight with the council. <laughs> <laughs> we got your back, bro. For what, Scott, you have them. clearly never had a conversation with council anything before. So, <laughs> as a Fleep out, what was your interjection there? Um, it, it was basically saying like that, yeah. So if <laughs> he was taking the same thing that you had said, like, if it we, we have his back, that if there is a fight, <laughs> mm -hmm. we would kill all the elves. <laughs> Fleabite, ready to kill. Kill. Kill them all. Rocks. Rocks. <laughs> so, yes. You enter into the uh, big entrance reception area of the, the city council building. It's obviously a lot more guarded and fortified now. Um, mm -hmm. The doors aren't always left open anymore. They're actually like sealed, and as you approach... Um, one of the guards well, opens we, up. Sorry, the invitation, was it actually by a person or just a letter? Oh, it was a letter from the it city council. Right, so we show that letter to gain entry. Nope, they recognise you on site and let you in. We're just that cool. No, you are literally that rare. Oh. <laughs> I'll stick with my choice of we're just that cool. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can think in character what you want. But the fact of the matter is, no, 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 it's no. super well, rare. Established, I'm just that cool. Is Cognac wearing his fancy gloves? He is. <laughs> his dapper gloves. Um, he has a fancy jumper on his one. <laughs> I love the idea <laughs> of the turtle with a big jumper. Um, <laughs> is, it like, is it like a knitted cardigan or like a? Technically, it's called oh, flying right. clothes, but I imagine it's whatever equivalent a Christmas jumper is. Mm -hmm. That seems mighty fine. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so the, the guard opens the door up for you to go in. Um, just head inside. And the the person behind the reception, a, just a, a female human for the visuals, if you oh. will. And she looks up and I she says... It's the same elf we met before. Oh, that guy? No, he's he's probably been retasked somewhere else. Or maybe he went home. Um, well, I was going to say he was a bit of a prick, so I was getting a <laughs> fight there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she goes... Ah yes, you have arrived. Uh, they're, they're in chambers right now. You can head straight in. Top of the stairs. And she just kind of points up to the stairs. Thank you. Yes, You're nice. She kind of just nods and goes back to her, you know, work. I gesture to Lyda to lead the way up the stairs. I lead the way up the stairs. And so Lyda led the way up the stairs. Um, <laughs> with his trunkety trunk. Um... <laughs> But yeah, oh, you get up no. there, and oh, uh, as you get to the top, the one of the, the kind of attendants opens the door, um, and it's like a big, massive kind of like meeting room, if you will, big kind of council chambers room. It's um, circular. The councillors sit around, up on a raised kind of circle, and the centre is like sunk in, um, for people to go and like make their case or whatever, for whatever it is for their audience. Um, there is some seating for public as well, um, but not much. It's not necessarily encouraged that people come harass the council a lot. Um, is there seating for us? Yeah, I mean, uh, everything I've just said, so mm. yeah. So he's walking and oh. there's, only, there's only one person in the place. Um, oh. And she's standing there, you obviously all recognise her um, as the head of the council. Um, I swiftly bow. What time of day is it? Uh, is, does it matter? Yes. Why? Because I want to say good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever. I, uh, I mean, yeah, it can be, I don't know, what time you just want it to be. It doesn't really matter. Evening. Uh, evening. Early afternoon. Brilliant. Evening. So it's the daytime. I, <laughs> As opposed walk, to the I night time. <laughs> and say good day, uh, Vestiel, and give a slight polite bow. Not like a submissive bow, just politeness, you know. Oh damn that art! So I like her lip piercing. Mm -hmm. Ah, she has a lip piercing. No, what? she does not. It's just not. Oh. <laughs> it's the uh, Adair. Adair <laughs> walks up to take her hand to kiss it upon bowing. No, as soon as uh, somebody mentions her by first name, she turns on the spot and goes, "Ah yes, that's Councillor Hamalisha to you." I just butt in and just be like, "Hello." And then she kind of like, 
I just say apologies. I'm not, I'm not used to these uh, formalities. That's okay, but formalities are all we have left in these trying times. And she like puts the stack of parchment like on her part of the desk and walks round to where you guys are at the entrance. A witty retortal. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred damage. <laughs> oh. you're, you're not dead. You're just straight up erased from reality. A big hand comes down and just squishes. <laughs> um, the party looks around and uh, sees. Feels like there was someone else with them, but we can't quite remember. Really. And until he completes his new yeah. character, Jin, we will never know who our colleague had always been this whole time. <laughs> Uh, no, but it, yeah. it took, it took so anyway, much damage. so she stands it. there and she says, um, yes, I'm really pleased you could all make it. I, um, I hope your trip through the city wasn't too taxing. She motions to some of the public seating benches for you to like sit down if you wish. I, I said we'll take a seat. If I that's stay standing. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, I, I believe Lida should stay at stand and the rest of us should get out of the way so as it's uh, more one on one. I will. I will stand on the seat. <laughs> yep. Fine. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, stays put. She just. Right. So, Cognac, Thea, and uh, Louder are all standing over there. Else takes a seat. Assuming Lethbleed sits. Uh, can I just stay hiding behind Cognac? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think she'll notice that, and she says, "You definitely don't need to fear anything from me, small one." I believe you were one of, and she uh, says, "I believe you were one of the brave scouts that brought us some of the information we've been working with." And she kind of just like just does that. She, she does that polite thing where she's like, "Okay, that's a weird, creepy thing. I'm just gonna be polite." And then this is where you just scratch behind his ear, just like, "Yeah." <laughs> But then, I just uh, say yes, he was um, invaluable in uh, our information gathering. Yes, and it was very useful information. It's why I have asked you all here. What do you know of the city of Runestad? Can I roll history? To I, I look at everyone region? just to... Yeah, I'd like to roll so, something on that. So, here's a yeah. thing, right? <laughs> who thinks they know enough about world history and who thinks they can help the person roll about world history and we'll do one roll and that'll be the what this is the source of everybody's information going back the way I think right. I think, I, think I would they, I get um, in te uh, magic and technologies um, anyone else I would definitely uh, how do you see uh -huh. I understand that sleep <laughs> um how do you Scott, see what your plus... spell check? All oh, right, yeah, I'd get plus three as well on intelligence. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't have nothing about this land, so... yep. Right. We're uh, going to need to get better at this talking over bullshit thing, so let's. You know. Right. Am I rolling or are you rolling? I'll, I'll roll. assist you. Okay, go. Cool. To do Rest it with advantage. advantage. Yep. I assume we're both just muttering to each other. It's um, it's more so that you've maybe had a conversation where everybody's maybe overheard stuff in the past, where mm -hmm. this is why you know this, you know. Compared notes that we. Or maybe you've tried to get stuff from, Runestead for the. The yeah. canon and stuff, right? So, mm -hmm. but I'll, yeah. we'll find out depending on the rule. So... Whenever Scott puts advantage on in his rule, yeah. So this is mostly Cognax help, then. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So. It kind of makes sense. Um, so, could it be that um, at? at family court, someone from? Yep, I was about to say the exact same thing. Yep. So, Runestad is run by a self-appointed monarch. Uh, it is a again another small city state. It's on the world map. Um, let me go back to it. Yeah, I was going to say, could you just go back to it? Ah, right, yeah, there like, pretty much west of us. Yep. And, yeah. Uh, run by a self-appointed monarch. Uh, again, pretty insular as a society. Um, like, you can travel there, etc. You can get there and whatnot, but, like, people... They're a bit odd, right? 
Like they're kind of yeah. really loyal to their monarch. What's its population made up of, or is it just a mostly monarch? human? Mostly. So I take, so I take it Much the... like Torque, the way Torque is pretty much all human. So I take it the uh, the ruler then will be human. Yes. The self-appointed ruler. Yep. Yep. Indeed, their ruler is human, and yeah, like the. Um, they're really good at magitech. That's kind of their shtick, right? That's what their rulers Ooh. are. That's pretty much, you know, their rulers thing. Daft about magitech. Um I'd fit in well there. <laughs> I mean yeah. Being a small creature. Um well, it's more more on I know. I mean, But yeah, that's um <laughs> the <laughs> There isn't really like an expanded nobility of um, Runestad. It's mostly the monarch and then the people. Um, it's a, As I said, it's a fairly kinda, strange... Kind of Mad Max style where they had that kind of one guy who was like, I am the ruler of everything and everyone else is just kind of peasants. Yeah, not a million miles away from that, but also not really like Mad Max at all. But yeah, yeah, not, not, the, not the concept of it, yeah. yeah. Um, Somebody coming from Runestad would be weird, right? Like, they wouldn't necessarily travel all the way over to, like, Little Bellinor. Um, because they probably can't afford to, primarily. Um, they might not want to because, like, Runestad's a pretty self-sustaining country in itself, if you will, if we just mm. call these, like, city-states, if you will, um, these locations. Um, but, like, it doesn't mean to say they don't trade with Torque and Little Bellinor and, I mean, who the hell knows if they've got any contact with Barris, right? Like yeah. Barris don't really give a fuck about empty, um, but Sorry, it's. Where did you say Runestad was? It's on the map. map. So if you have a look. Oh uh, wait, it's on to the left. Sorry. Yep, got it. I was too close to Little Belmore. My bad. Where's... There we go. Perfect. There yeah, we go. It is. It's a big yep. map. Um, so yeah, I, you, yeah, I think that's pretty much what you know about yeah. Runestad. Yeah. Because Cognac's a turtle, so he probably might react a bit slower. I think I would jump in and be like. Yep, yep, know all about it. Why? What? Have they been in contact? How? Why? Um, hmm. Even though Cognac's thinking, I told you all that stuff the other week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he... Wait, where are we drinking at the time, though? <laughs> uh, good good question. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I told him all this. Whilst, if it had been whilst... in the tavern... Mm. Yeah. I'm happy points. for him to react faster than me and yeah. for me to not entirely quickly remember it because I was plastered at the time. Yep, yep. And, uh, yeah, so you mentioned that and she, then she looks down at it, obviously you, Tink, and she says, yes, the the monarch of Runestad has been in contact with us some three days ago regarding and she just looks up to the ceiling and through the beautiful stained glass windowed domed ceiling to the council chambers uh, you can see like the storm cloud above the, the crackles of lightning and she mm. says yes the message was of some intrigue it appears, About the <laughs> it appears that the monarch has some information he wishes to supply the council with, but does not trust methods of communication and wishes to hand this off in person. The council Ooh. will be asking you to travel to Runestad to collect this information if this is something you can achieve with your resourcefulness. Um, I believe that. we can. She just smiles at you because you say that because that's like a relief to her that you didn't just say fuck off, right? So we didn't just say what? Sorry, fuck off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we be compensated for both leagues of the journey, both legs. I was going to say it is quite a dangerous journey for us. We need to have some. Ample reason, or I mean, what the, what's happening in chat, though, guys, in this scene? 
Can well, I listen? My first I thought, thought, I thought is... that I thought that was insane. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was literally asking the counselor. Yep, so there's going to be a lot of out-of-character and in-character chat, so make sure we we at least... Because uh, mm -hmm. some people's voices are the exact same. <laughs> All right, so, go so, so, so try phrasing it like, Cognac turns to her and says... And then say the, the dialogue. That's way easier for me to trigger what you have got between mm -hmm. out-of-character nonsense chat and in-character actual chat. Initially beaten by Alvin to the punch, Cognac turns to the counsellor and says shall we be compensated for both legs of the journey uh, before she can reply Leuda says uh, yes it's uh, could be quite a dangerous trip for us and she looks um, between the two of you and she says yes it will be dangerous I imagine these are very dangerous times for everyone I feel though that if the information isn't retrieved then it could be much more dangerous for little Belinor. We have no standing army, and it does not look like the city of Torque are sharing theirs for defence. Not that we would expect them to put themselves at risk for this, nor would I expect you to risk this without reward. However, as you can imagine, resources are slim. What would you ask? Madam, can you supply us a ship? That can be supplied. I think the, uh, would kind of stand more upright at that and um, kind of look more engaged. Well, speak up, child, if you have something to say. She says to Thea. I sigh. When do we leave? Ideally, as soon as you're ready to, but... I quickly turn to the group yeah, turns around and anyone walks. steer a ship. <laughs> Is anyone got, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Hold on. Thea, you were saying? Um, I think as soon as she says it's ready, as soon as you're ready to leave, I think Thea turns around and starts heading towards the direction of the exit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Thea just leaves, yeah. Cool. She's just leaving. She's heading to the docks, if anyone's. She's on her way. <laughs> Thanks, yep. I think as she's walking out, she'd just be like, this sounds like fun. <laughs> and she says, yes, as you were asking for some form of compensation. Do you have any idea of what you would require of this for? Coin isn't exactly what I'm going to have an ample supply of. There's very little coin can buy you now that bartering wouldn't override, given the limited resources we have. Land. Where out of character, she laughs just face. loudly over it. No, she just laughs at you. Land? Yes, we are overrun by spare land. That's why our parks have tents full of refugees in them. You see, she does get quite worked up at this. And she's like, perhaps try something realistic. Cognac, touching his brow, says, Well, we're going to be in danger as soon as we step outside. Perhaps in advance. Say guard a new set of armor. Each she armor up. does mean no good. She looks sharp and then he goes, So and she like picks the corner of your cloak up because these things we furnished you with for past mm. services are no longer of use to you. No? Not quite. They are of use. But I'm a big fellow. So is Layuda. I just kind of, <laughs> I think Tink would just kind of be like, you know, you'd see like the wee cogs in his head turning and then go, I know what we need. Right, right. I'm sick and tired of sleeping in a small hammock. Why not give us a house? We need a mansion, a house, a, 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 a thing in which to abode. A thing, you know? Um, I want a bedroom again. You just have property by the docks, I believe. It is a, la a rather large we warehouse that we were looking at. It's, and she it's just turns to you and she puts her finger up to stop you talking, my dear. And she goes, <laughs> I am well within my right to claim that warehouse back for city use. I have left it with you for your services to us for now. This is 
indeed trying times for all of us. Be reasonable with your responses. I cannot Can just I? fabricate a mansion from nowhere to award you. Return what with my information and maybe, maybe we can have a chat then when your responses are more reasonable. I think we Perhaps have worked well in the past. Back. And then she just puts her finger up to whoever else is speaking while still holding one up to a dare. And she <laughs> says, Perhaps if you return with something useful to me, and ideally in one piece, because I am rather fond of you despite my tone right now, but I am in a very, very uncomfortable predicament right now, and you are asking for things you know I cannot fabricate from nothing. I think Madam, well, I think when we return when That's we return counselor. with the information you want. Oh. Counselor, when we return with the information you need, grant us what you see as fit. Perhaps Hold her. Like, like <laughs> no, she like then she's still focused on it there because that's something she can work with because there we go. Rational exchange. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A dear, because I'm course. assuming you're so on first name terms now. Uh, of thanks. course, counselor. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, Her first well, name is. Yep. Well, well, that's been going on, and like out of fear of being shushed, I'm just like kind of standing there with like my hand up, like mm -hmm. trying to get teachers' attention. I think she just sighs a little. <sighs> just looks at you. Like, so we have a boat. Counselor, I assume we have you supply a, a ship and some the, of the crew. And then the, sure. I was just literally asking that. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you literally just talked right over me. Man. Like, have you muted everybody else, Gregor? Because it does <laughs> no, no, that, happen like, a lot. That, that, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, are you getting through everyone's audio? Um, I get you and Ryan quite clearly. I was going to say, mm, I think, how odd. Um, it's fine. If I'm cutting you off to let someone else speak, it's because you've spoke over them, so just keep that in mind going forward. Um, but yes, so, use both volley in with, you know, who's going to be manning the ship. Yeah, basically, I was literally asking the same thing. That's why I said you both. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That li key listening skills, everybody. Key what? listening skills. 100 damage. So the... You heard that? Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. A ship will be supplied. I cannot spare many men, but I believe the young lady who left is quite a known sailor. And she looks around the, the room every day. Except Theo, because Theo left. Mm. So you have someone who can handle this vessel. Cognac would like to say, perhaps instead of you deciding something for us on return, perhaps on return we should get a certificate of indebtment signed by the council, kicking what? the tank down the line, so to speak. As in uh, an IOU, which we could at a better time hand in for a better can I ask as lady um this ship um once the mission is complete are we still able to keep it? No. This is a city ship. It belongs to the city. I expect it to be returned. And well, the method so far of compensation will not no be Repaid. Guaranteed payment for this mission that is you have incredibly not, dangerous. You have not been reasonable with your requests. As I said, money is not an option because what can you do with money right now? Nothing. You could buy a ship. No, you can't. No one Are is selling ships. It's almost like the city's in lockdown. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's almost like the world's at siege. <laughs> I, I think while this is happening is well, all this chat's happening. I'm like bored. I'm gonna go find Thea, and then I just kind of hop down from my chair and just kind of be like counselor, and then run away, like kind of bounce away. I think just the abruptness of it all just like shocks her a little. <laughs> uh, Lady just says, 
very well we'll agree payment will never return and I walk out as well as, as soon return. as like loud uh, oh, no. no no go ahead I was getting confused with loud and cognac never mind <laughs> Cognac's still here, Flea, but you're still behind him. Uh, well, I would turn to the counselor and I would ask the name of the captain of the ship and the name of the ship that we are being granted access to, and do they know we're coming? And she looks at you and says, I literally just answered this. Your f colleague will be commanding the ship. Oh, so Thea will be commanding the ship? Yeah, she's a sailor, isn't mm. she? No, it's just in case there was other crew. Or As I mentioned, there is there are no spare people to send on this mission. This is why you have been asked. I would send my own people if I had any. Hmm. What's the name of the vessel that Thea shall be commanding? That's a very good question. I'll get your name in a second. Yeah. Anyways. Or do we just take any boat we like? <laughs> no, there's there's one assigned. Um, <laughs> the Happy Octopus. Yet to be named ship. <laughs> <laughs> You mean the totally named ship is this one, yeah? Don't you sass me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, obviously I'm gonna like avoid shippy McShip face. Oh man oh, It is one hundred percent the Fandango, which is what my friend oh, is generating. Yes. <laughs> Yes. He commands the Fandango. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just okay. by any chance a Grim? No, it's, was gonna, this was the list I got from my random <laughs> generator, and as much as I liked Fidget, I'm going to go with the Fandango, because it's Fandango clearly the best of all of those. I am just going to delete the rest. Uh, cool. There he's I cool. love it. Okay. Um, I will follow suit of Alvin and Thea. I shall gracefully bow to the councillor. Uh, upon exiting and mm -hmm. leave. Yep. So I get Cognac and Fleabite still in the room. I would just stare for a wee bit and then take my leave. How's the family? I do not grace it with a reply. From <laughs> off in the distance, she's only here. They're absolutely fine. No, it's definitely between them two, and I guess Fleabite isn't really even like paid much attention to since Fleabite tries to not be like attention seeking in this particular scene. But it's Fleabite quiet enough that it's point. mostly for Cognac, and Fleabite can hear it, but I doubt will respond. But yeah, so is there literally just you just sigh and don't say anything, walk away? Yeah, probably a, a wee wide eyed expression. Which could be, you know, adrenaline, it could be disgust, it could be anything. But it's definitely not happiness. Mm -hmm. With regards to me saying an IOU, um, it's different to what Ayer was saying, because Ayer, the, the ownership of the debt is in the hands of the council, because the council gets to choose what it gives us. Whereas if we get a signed copy that says an IOU, the the initiative is with us. That's why I said that specifically. Yep, but keep in mind you just have had a year of good relations with the council. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't just uh, some random hires you off the street. This is the people who have made use of you for a year are asking more of you now. I think both in and out of character, I'd probably still prefer to have ownership of whatever debt was going on, but that's just me. Yeah, that's fine. But she's not furnishing with that. Like she, she's happy that everybody else has taken that on mm -hmm. board. And if you yeah. don't join them, that's fine. Everybody else is. So, as far as she's concerned, at least. Um, I suddenly realised that we actually ask, sea to travel. Are we taking a ship straight to? I've forgotten its name. Uh, Rinstad. Rinstad. Uh, we can. How long does that take via ship? Yeah. Right. So, for yeah. the sake of making everything super easy, let's just say every square on the map is a week's travel. A week. So we need... What? Give or take, obviously, anything you can do to mitigate such things, but... So a month, four weeks. Yeah, to make landfall, but then it would yeah. be like another, another week of travelling through the grounds of that yeah. part of the country, or the world, yeah. I should say, to get to Runestead. 
which is in the mountains. So we need a lot of supplies, guys. Yarp. Yeah. Uh, we're we're just before, board, like, but... we should have asked for that. Yeah, um... ask for rations. <laughs> when when uh, Cognac like, turns around to, to leave and somebody uncovers Flea Bite, <laughs> Elfling then scampers out on all floors, floor, floors out mm -hmm. as fast. All floors scampered, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All four floors onto the ground. Yep, yep. Um, I think she just twitches her nose a little bit. Because, um, yeah, like, she doesn't really know what you are, so. Hmm. And then we just see her push her glasses up her nose. And then, yeah, it fades out from there. And we take a break for 10 minutes. That's what we do. So I will see everybody in 10 minutes. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Good evening.